Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm still super awkward when I film an intro, so let's get on with it. So this one's really fun, nice and light, nice and easy to watch, nice and distracting. Hope you're all doing good. This is Stupidest Customer Complaints. I'm not going to ramble for too long, but if you've worked in customer services, I'm sure you've heard some of these and you can relate. So some of these are my own experiences and some of these are things people have told me. The one I hear all the time is people complaining about the heating. So you'll have one person like, It's too hot, can you oh, turn, turn the heating down please? And then you'll have the next person like, It's so, so, so cold in here. Can you, can you put the heat up, please? And you've been running your whole section and you're stuck in the middle of these two tables, like... It's too hot. Oh, why? It's too cold. Oh God, it's it's too hot. It's too oh, cold. I don't have time for this. So the next complaint I've received is a lady who has ordered the lobster shepherd's pie. We did these really quirky shepherd's pies in a place I worked before. And we know in a traditional shepherd's pie, there's lamb because sheep, lamb, herd, shepherd. She orders it, she starts to eat it, and then you guessed it, she starts to freak out because there's lamb in it. Now, if you'll eat lobster that's been boiled alive, but you won't eat sheep, somebody explain the logic to me there. I'm just editing and I wanted to let you know that she was just vegetarian. It wasn't like she didn't eat it for religious reasons or she was allergic or anything like that. A lobster's not cute enough for you, is that the problem? I don't get it. I remember her saying something like, Why is there lamb in the lobster shepherd's pie? Clues in the name, love. What did she expect? Herds of lobster in the field. We had in fact employed a lobster shepherd to shepherd said lobsters into the pie. Oh my god, no, not the pie! Another thing when you're a waiter, some people really don't like to be ID'd. Like, they take it very personally if you ID them. Usually because they're 14 and should be drinking scrumpy jacks in a field, but this was one of my favourites, right? So I go to a table and I say, Hi, can I get you anything to drink? I will have the peanut Grigog and my son will have a cider. Sure, could I just see your son's ID, please? What? Yeah, it's just company policy, sorry. What, you don't need to ID him, he's 25. Her son. <coughs> I'm his mother, that should be enough ID. Still her son. Well, I was going to tip you, but I'm not now. First of all, Karen, I don't want your tip. I don't want the money you had to argue back of the poor cashier in Tesco for your tampon refund. Burn! Because with your attitude, it's clearly that time of the month. Second of all, unless your hoo-ha has a pass logo on it, it's not a valid form of ID for your son. And the last one I'll tell you about today was actually sent to me by somebody working in a restaurant as well. Now this one I just couldn't believe. So the story is, a guest has approached him. By the way, I never understood why we had to call them guests because I thought guests were people I'd invited because I wanted them there and these people just keep turning up. And they've said, Excuse me, but there's no soap in your disabled toilets. I had to run up the stairs to get soap. So hold on. You had to run upstairs. You were able to run upstairs to get soap. Now I'm not here to start wars because my dad is disabled and he does have an invisible illness as well. So I know what it's like when people don't think disabled people are actually disabled. This person may have actually needed the disabled toilets. We don't know, it's not my story. But if you're able to run up, and I know this restaurant, three flights of stairs to the bathroom and come back and still have the breath to complain about it, you probably should have gone upstairs in the first place. Because disabled toilets are for people who can't do any of those things. Like if you ask my dad to walk up three flights of stairs, I hope you've got time and snacks because it's gonna take a while. And actually, if you're trying to tell us we're out of soap in a place that you shouldn't really be, should you? Maybe show your waiter a little bit of respect, a little bit of human decency and speak to them like a person. Okay guys, that's enough. That's all I'm gonna film today. There will be a part two for this one. I had a lot of responses, so I have a lot more to say. And finally, one more thing before we go. I don't know if you guys have seen um, on my live stream yesterday. I'm now not doing daily videos. There may be times when I do do daily videos, but I'm gonna try and get one out to you every other day. Just so I can better edit the content, make things a bit more fun, do more sketch work, because I'm really enjoying that at the moment, which means I have to change the outro too. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you very soon, because as we know, I'm bored as hell.